and Oscar-winning William Wyler-directed romantic drama from 1949, co-starring Olivia de Havilland, The Heiress. Hello, I'm Martin Scorsese. Thank you for joining me again. The picture is The Heiress, a film I've always loved. When I first saw it, I think I was 10 years old. I've gone back to see it many, many times over the years. It's immaculately acted and crafted. It's one of the finest films ever made about 19th century America. And it has this stunning score by Aaron Copeland. It's a psychological suspense story in which the tension is pulled tighter and tighter, like a bowstring, to a point where I think it becomes excruciating because it's so painfully real. You can really sense it. I saw it for the first time, I think I was 10 years old. As I said, I found it overwhelming. It was Olivia de Havilland who approached William Wyler about making the picture, an adaptation of Ruth and Augustus Getz's Broadway play, which of course was adapted from Henry James's novel, Washington Square. And when it came to casting Morris, the young suitor who courts de Havilland's wealthy Catherine Sloper, Wyler immediately thought of Elwood Flynn. Flynn refused it and Wyler reversed course. So he wanted someone softer who would keep you wondering, is Catherine's father played so brilliantly by Ralph Richardson. Is her father right? Does Morris really love Catherine? Or does he just love her money? Or is it a little bit of both? So while the cast Montgomery Clift in the role, and there was tension between him and de Havilland, and they had two actors with very different approaches to their craft. But this tension really seemed to add an emotional undertone, and it seemed to really ratchet up and fuel the dramatic suspense. Now, the heiress was a model for the kind of dynamic we were pursuing between Ernest and Molly and Killers of the Flower Moon, characters played by Leo DiCaprio and Lily Gladstone. Love? Money? Both? I mean, do we really know? Do they really know? It's the kind of thing that can happen between people that sort of tangle the emotions and motivations. And it's expressed so beautifully and with such precision, dramatically and cinematically in this remarkable picture. And now directed by the great William Wilder, the heiress.